with Kurt? Uh, yeah. You know, it's um, you know, we're we're still gonna be trying to run for a championship with a 45, but uh, obviously more disappointed for Kurt than, than anything for sure. Did the fact that Truex is, could be the beneficiary, did that play into the decision at all? Like the, the fact that it could help another Toyota team? Um, it didn't play into our decision or anything like that. If anything, maybe it benefited Blaney more yeah, yeah, than sure. Truex. Um, from Joe Gibbs' perspective, it certainly doesn't benefit him because he's got uh, the 19 car still out. So the 19 car still needs to win to get any benefit for Joe. It still is a doctor's choice, though, right? I mean, it's the doctor yeah, will decide. He, yeah, if he's not clear, he's not clear. And if he's not ready, he's not ready. So nobody can force that. What about the philosophy that, you know, with this, you allow another person in and some pure. Some people really like that mm -hmm. idea, and some are like, ooh, should you really allow? Right. What about that conversation? Well, I mean, it's a, if the people want 16 drivers to battle for a championship, then we you have to add somebody if otherwise there's 15. I mean, I, I don't uh -huh. know that it matters from our standpoint, but certainly um, I think NASCAR deems that they – they won't have a bracket with 16 drivers, and so you just put the next next one that is earning the spot in. With, yeah, I mean, theoretically, he could have helped himself. I mean, if he if he came back even four or five races into the playoffs, he theoretically could have improved his own points position. I know there really isn't any bonus money involved in that, but did that play into any sort of decision, or was it if he can't make the first race, he shouldn't be in the playoffs? Well, I don't think that we're not holding out hope that, that Kurt can come back at, at some time. Um, but I think that he deemed the chances probably of him coming, if he did come back later, the chances of him winning a championship would not be very high. So why not you know, give up that spot? And that's, a, that's honestly a Kurt decision more than anyone else. Denny, there's, there's a situation where maybe it's in Martin's best interest to help push Ryan to the win because if Ryan wins, Martin gets it in points and he's safe. If Martin goes that route as opposed to maybe potentially helping you, can you see that? Um, or is that going to be the competitors going to have that frustration of not being helped by their teammate um, in, in, to win a race? I mean, look, you're still going for playoff points. There's a lot you're going after, too. Yeah, I mean, I think if it comes down to it, though, and it, say we're one through three, the three of us, he's going to, I would think he'd push me over Ryan. I mean, simply because I'm locked in just like Ryan is, and it still gets him in. Um, but, I mean, I would imagine that they would, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I guess they try to stay close to each other. I'm not, I'm not really sure of the strategy on that. Uh, last year, Larson did that with me. It drove me absolutely crazy. You know, I was trying to shake and add points, and he just kept following me everywhere. Normally, you'd want that on the super speedway, but when you're trying to get points on somebody, when they follow you, it's not not very easy. So, um, but yeah, it's it's. I, I don't know what their individual strategies will be. I think Joe Gibbs Racing probably still wants Martin to go out there and try to win the race to get him in the playoffs that way. Is it easier with you being a team owner to understand? where Kurt's coming from, you know, especially since you've been in it just about as long as he has and how difficult it is for him to sit out when he did have such yeah. a competitive year going. He, he, he did, and he kept, just kept that team and him just kept getting better. So that that's the tough part about it is we had so much momentum going with that 45 car before that happened. Um, so, I mean, that part was tough, but I, it's – the only thing I can relate is to when I had to sit out races because my back injury in 2013, I mean, it sucked in. But for him, I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing physical as far as, like, something that hurts. It's just something that you know is not right uh, in the brain. So, uh, you know, that's something that you got to have 100%. You can't, you can't fake that part of it. Um, the results will show in your performance and, and anything else on the racetrack if your mind's not right. So... I know he's frustrated, emotional about it, and you know we're just uh, we just want to support him in any way we can and give him the time off that he needs to to get better. You've had a back injury, but you haven't had an issue with concussions, right? Have you had concussions? Have you had your bell rung? Uh, a 
couple times for sure. Um, you know, there's one time, especially Talladega. I think I went. Uh, I'm not sure of the year, but it was that was a pretty good one. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, these cars hit hard. I mean, that's just part about it. Is it didn't matter what generation cars these things. Uh, if you hit at the right angle, they can really get you. So uh, Kurt just had you know an unfortunate set of circumstances this year where he just has a few back to backs and just you know the the lighter the the less accelerated hits in these cars are are harder than the hits on the old cars. So it's just you add all those little things up and it you know it all adds up. Denny, when Bubba came in earlier, he said obviously everyone. 2311 is bummed for Kurt and he kept saying he's racing for Kurt that kind of solidarity between teammates what is your role as the as the team owner to keep everybody in, in, in high spirits obviously it's disappointing to not have their driver but to keep them going and keep that car performing well yeah I mean it's important to us and I mean we'll do everything we can to try to help stack the deck and make that car advance as far as it can uh, into the playoffs so um, we'll, we'll talk about what that exactly means but you know, we're, we're still going to try to go out there and move up the standings as, as high as we can and advance as long as we can. So I just, um, you know, it is one team. We, we interchange people all the time, pit crews. We've swapped two or three times just on special races. So it just, you know, I, that's kind of what we're built around. I mean, um, Billy essentially builds the setups for Bubba's car and Booty sets up Billy's car on the surface plate. So it's just, that's kind of the way our team works. Denny, um with, with Bubba, you know, he has a teammate in Kurt Busch who had had so much experience here. Now he gets traded out for Ty Gibbs, who, who's only run one Xfinity race mm -hmm. at this type of track at, at Daytona. And I'm curious, you know, with so few numbers with the Toyotas, what do you do or what can you do to help Ty or talk to him about, about what his duties are and responsibility to help Bubba and, and just trying to keep up with him? Because this is a whole new experience for Ty. And, and this is probably, I'm guessing, a lot to ask of a, of a driver, yeah. a tough situation to be coming in. It is, and I mean, it's uh, he's going to be learning a lot uh, the first few laps and in the draft with those things. I know he's really studied a bunch this week, uh, but it's been clear to him that we, uh, we want to try to get the 23 car in there. That's your job to help there, just like it's my job to help the 19 car do as well as he can uh, throughout the day. Uh, I'm still going to try to get playoff points for myself, but... Anytime I can help without hurting myself, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, how, how easy is it to stay on the bumper of a car in this type of situation? Especially for uh, in this guy. one, it's a little easier. This okay. car, it's a little bit easier than the previous car. It's just you can't really pull out in this car three wide like you used to be able to in the uh, because of the drag numbers. So it's just this car definitely drafts, drafts and drives differently than the previous generation. Have you had any conversations with, with Kyle Busch about potential opportunities with 2311? I mean, right now we have a driver for 2023. Um, you know that again. It's right now we're we're all week to week. Do you um, did, were you guys the one who brought up to Kurt? Hey, do you think you should pull out of the playoffs? Or was no. he the one who brought it up? No, th this is a Kurt thing. This is definitely not us by any means. Uh, we've been very clear and transparent with Kurt that we're going to support him no matter what if he wants to stay in there and come in for the last race of the first round like let's go let's go try to win it so he just felt like this is the best decision for him you know uh, you know not to hold somebody else back from going for a championship that he thought maybe had a better uh, chance at it um, it's still unknown whether he would be able to come back so it, this is all Kurt's decision and it, his future will always be his his decision how has it surprised you like I mean that's hmm? I mean, that's a hard decision to make, right? I mean, it's... Well, it's, it's very hard. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine. Honestly, I, 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 I can't imagine. With, with Kurt's status unknown, um, when you start looking ahead to 23 and saying, hey, we have to make a decision uh, on a driver for a 45 car, what, what point is that? I mean, we, we've already thought about 2024, so trust me, 2023 has been thought about. <laughs> How has Kurt <laughs> been in the war room? I, I hear he's, you know, he's going to do that again this weekend, but... He has added a lot there. How is he behind the scenes? He's good. I mean, he's still helping Ty kind of uh, through practices, qualifying the races. He's helping with our debriefs on Monday, uh, giving observations of what he sees. And that's kind of what the role he's going to be with us long term is going to be anyway. So he's just kind of 
moving into that role temporarily while you sideline. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.